the 10 secret ways to make a man worry about losing you. Have you ever felt that you were more invested in a relationship than a man that you were interested? Perhaps you felt like you wanted him more than he wanted you and he may have even have been pulling away and what you'd like to have is a loving committed relationship where he craves and desires you but what you're experiencing is perhaps loneliness frustration or fear that you are losing him for good well i'm going to help you solve that in this training today i'm brody boyd if you don't know me already and for over 20 years combined my wife auntie and i have been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to get a loving, long-term, and committed relationship with a man that they want, a high-quality man. So let's go ahead and dive right in to how to make him worry about losing you. The first secret way to make him worry about losing you is the 90-day challenge. Now, what the 90-day challenge is, is that for 90 days, you're going to do everything you can in your power to meet all of his needs. Here's the thing. If you're meeting somebody's needs on all levels they will never leave you. In fact, they will become addicted to you like crack cocaine. So how do you do this? The first step is you have to understand him. You have to understand him and what his needs are. You may have to ask him questions about his love language, what he wants, uh, what makes him the happiest. But you also have to look for, are you meeting his need for love and connection? Are you meeting his need for certainty, for variety, for growth, a spiritual connection perhaps? and then start to do everything in your power for 90 days to meet all those needs. And if after 90 days you don't find that he's becoming addicted to you and fearing losing you, then you know it's probably not gonna work out and it's probably not the right relationship. But this is a powerful exercise to make powerful shifts in your dynamic with him. The next secret way to make a man worry about losing you is to practice detachment. As the Buddha said, attachment is the root of all suffering. If you feel like you are suffering with your man right now, it's probably because you are overly attached. You are hoping that you are going to get something from him that ultimately he probably cannot give you. It's something that you have to get for yourself inside of your own heart, inside of your own soul. The way you can start practicing getting that for yourself is detaching from him, cutting the ties, cutting the cord. How do you do this? You get out in nature. You imagine him floating away. You, you imagine him going about his life, being his best self, and that's completely okay. Let it run through your hands like water. Let the attachment run through your hands like water and imagine yourself letting it go, letting him go, letting him be his best self, letting him do what he wants to do, completely detaching whether he comes back to you or not. It's not necessarily easy. Of course, this is simple, but not easy. But the more you can imagine yourself letting him go, being okay with that and being detached, the more powerful you're going to become in the relationship and the more likely he's going to start craving you. The next secret way to make him worry about losing you is to reward the behavior you want to see more of. So however he is interacting with you in the relationship, if he's doing anything that you like, anything at all that's progressing towards the type of man, the type of relationship that you want to experience with him, Make sure you're rewarding that behavior. Here's the thing. A lot of women, when a man starts acting the way they've been hoping that he would act for so long, they start punishing him and they say, why didn't you do this before? Why, are you, why do I always have to ask for you to do this for me? Why do I always have to beg you to text me back before you text me back? Or I always have to reach out first before I get a response. When you punish him like that, you're actually subconsciously training him not to do the thing that you want anymore. Because when he does it, he gets punished. He doesn't want to get punished, so he'll stop, as you would do the same with him. So instead, even if you're resenting him, whatever it is, if he starts to make progress in the right direction, reward that and do not reward the behavior you do not want to see more of. Be very careful also of what you're rewarding as you are doing your man training process. The next secret way to make him worry about losing you is to balance the relationship with other activities. Make sure you are doing other things that you enjoy. Find hobbies, find activities, find social, social groups that you can be a part of where you're plugging in, you're getting your needs met from other sources and you're having fun, you're enjoying yourself, you're filling up your cup so that you come to the relationship overflowing with gratitude, with giving, with joy, with love. You have to find that balance. If you're just depending on him to meet all of your needs and putting all of your eggs in that basket, it puts a lot of pressure on him to be that source for you. 
If you can balance it out, of course, get those needs met from him as well, but you have to find balance with other sources of connection through family, friends, social activities, hobbies. They're gonna be healthy for you anyways, especially things around exercise, physical health, creativity, uh, being out in nature. Find those things that you can rebalance the pendulum in your relationship. The next secret way to make him worry about losing you is to deeply listen to him. Seek first to understand before seeking to be understood. This means asking him powerful questions that goes deep into his soul, into his psyche. Asking him questions like, what are your goals? What, are you, what do you love? What's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? What are you afraid of? What are your challenges? What do you like? in relationships? What do you not like in relationships? What are your goals for relationships? What are your goals for life? What are your goals for your family? Um, what do you dream about? Who do you want to be in five years? You know, what, what are your struggles? What keeps you up at night? These kind of questions, you're starting to understand him on a deep level and he's getting to share. Men often won't open up immediately, but if you ask questions and you listen and you seem authentically interested and engaged and even fascinated by what he shares, most men will want to continue to share himself with you so you can understand those needs again and be able to meet them and also just understand how to operate with him on a more powerful level. The next secret way to make a man worry about losing you is to improve yourself. Improve yourself in all different areas, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. What are some physical activities you can get engaged with? Volleyball, tennis, pickleball, swimming, activities that you can find that enjoy you, that, that, that you enjoy, that light you up. What are some ways you can emotionally improve yourself? Maybe taking a course, reading a book, watching this video like you're doing right now, which I commend you for. Uh, finding ways to improve yourself mentally, having stimulating conversations. Uh, like I mentioned before, reading, finding special interest magazines that you are, fat, you are fascinated by, that you can expand your horizons as far as your persona and things that you're interested in. And spiritually, start attending a church. Find a spiritual practice that you can plug into. These kind of things will make you more desirable and make you less needy and less desperate in the relationship and make you more fascinating in general. The next secret way to make a man worry about losing you is to be optimistic and hopeful. This means finding things that you can be excited about in your life and being optimistic about and hopeful for. When you start to have a vision for yourself of how you are improving, and how, what kind of relationship you want to have, it's going to be much easier to bring a positive energy to your life and to your relationship. So create a vision board, get a journal and write out all the things that you want, all of your goals and the things that you see for the, for your future and for your future of your family, your kids, your career, your health, and be optimistic in the relationship as well. Try to avoid being overly negative about things, criticizing him, uh, complaining about things, bringing up drama, bringing up bad things from the past that uh, you won't let go of if you're unwilling to forgive other people and situations. That way you're more likely to bring this peaceful, positive energy into the relationship that will make him addicted to you. The next secret to make a man worry about you is to be his safe harbor. This means creating a space in your relationship, in your connection when you are with him, talking with him, where he feels like he can open up and be himself, his real self, without uh, fear of creating arguments, fear of being attacked, being criticized, being emasculated. So what you want to bring to the relationship is an era of non-judgmentality and accepting him for whatever he wants to bring into the relationship. Because of course, you can have conversations about the issues and, and, and fix those issues, but you also want to bring in a space where he can share and be vulnerable with you without feeling like he's going to be attacked for it. So just imagining that you are his safe harbor is a powerful exercise. Imagining that when he's with you, he can relax. You're going to bring peace. You're going to bring a positive energy. You're going to bring a nurturing energy. And he can just relax and know his heart is safe in your harbor. The next secret way to make a man worry about losing you is to develop strong masculine feminine polarity. So think of it as your relationship with him as like a dance. In any dance, you can only have a leader and a follower at any time. Practicing being in your feminine means being receptive, being open, being in your flow, your creativity, your intuition, letting him be your hero, letting him be your protector, provider, the leader in your relationship, making the moves, 
investing into your relationship, pursuing you. That can only happen if you do not do those things. If you only own your feminine mass, your feminine magnetism, you call him into his masculine magnetism, and now you develop chemistry, polarity, and passion, which could only exist with that masculine feminine polarity. The next secret way to make him worry about losing you is to develop and maintain strong boundaries. This means valuing yourself and being willing to say no when things don't work for you. Whether that's, hey, when I'm in a when I'm in a committed relationship or when I'm in a relationship with someone, I need I expect regular communication. And if that can't happen, I don't know if this is the right fit for me. So being willing to also set boundaries if he's asking you to do things you're not comfortable with, if he's asking you to be exclusive when he's not, something like that. So being willing to maintain your value, put up yourself on a pedestal, put the queen's crown on your head and say, I'm a high value woman and this is my, these are my standards. And if you can't meet these standards, I'm sorry, but it's probably not a good fit and I'm gonna need to move on. This can compel him to step up or step out, which is better than being in this wishy-washy middle ground with a man. Some of the biggest keys that will help you to make a man worry about lose, losing you, as you've seen in this video, is to make him addicted to you, to be the source of a man's peace, his harmony, his needs getting met, but also this excitement that comes from masculine, feminine polarity. You're becoming this drug to him in a way that he will not want to lose. But also it doesn't mean you're being a doormat and giving and sacrificing yourself to just make him happy. It also means setting standards and setting boundaries, being the type of woman that he would be lucky to be with. It comes from yourself first. You have to believe that you are this type of woman first before a man will see you as that. So hopefully these tips have been insightful in that way for you in your relationship. Next, if you haven't yet, I highly recommend taking our free love quiz and virtual coaching session to get a loving, long-term, and committed relationship with a high-quality man that you want without more loneliness, frustration, or emotionally unavailable men pulling away, which you can get right now for free by going to getlovequiz.com, getlovequiz.com, or click on the link in the description or comments below this training. And I look forward to talking to you there more, helping you out on your love journey, and getting you into the romantic relationship that you've always dreamed of having. Much love and talk to you again very soon.